Hey, would it be? It's your boy Dre OG. Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're rocking with the vibes and the content. But look, we got these woke TikToks. Let's go ahead, run this thing up, man. Good vibes only. Just know we're going through this thing called life together. Let's get it. Have y'all been sleeping okay? Because I have noticed from 3 to 5 a.m., I've been waking up with too much energy that I shouldn't have. They better That's mind their business. For me. Every now, day for as me. you know, the world has been going through a lot of changes, a lot of upgrades, a lot of storms, floodings, all of that. So what do y'all think is happening with our bodies, including our souls? I don't know if y'all feel this, but y'all know when y'all go outside in nature and you can actually hear it? It's a different ringing in your ears, almost like a shh noise. Well, in the middle of the night, I've always been waking up to that noise. And it goes in and out from the ringing to the shh noise. And then I'm also getting woken up from visitors. They were standing around my bed. They were having a conversation that I couldn't understand because I don't speak their language. And one of them touched my foot. Just a lot of spiritual activity going on in the night. During this time, my mind is going like overdrive. So many downloads, thoughts, and information just come into my head at 3 and 5 a.m. It is said sometimes when you do wake up in the middle of the night, it's because you feel somebody is watching you. And my body is changing. I literally have to force myself to eat now. I will forget and not Me eat. As well. I feel there are changes going on with our spirits moving to a higher vibration. Also, with these times when I'm waking up, I'm heavily forced to interact with my lower self. A neutral being, the one who had touched my foot, said that since this is a planet of duality, you have a higher self and a lower self. You have to understand the darkness that is within you in order for you to be fully in control of your life. It could give you the strength to help you at certain times because people can take your kindness and goodness for granted. Then at night, thoughts were coming like the Lyrans were so high vibrational, spiritual, peaceful people that when their planet was taken over, they weren't prepared for it because of the high vibration, loving nature that they have. I was told to recognize both forms of self and that's what makes you stronger and prepared for anything that happens in your life. Everything isn't always gonna be rainbows and sunshine. There are a lot of things going on in the night for me, a lot of self-reflection, beings talking. There is also an importance of protecting yourself right now. Because you have downloads that come to you, you can also feel thoughts that are not your own from beings that are trying to infiltrate your mind. And for some reason, I keep dreaming about war. Me in different color skins. So question, how's the nighttime been for you guys? Stay dangerous. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I, I had, um, I be having dreams. And it's been like this ever since I was a little kid. Before I can even speak, I had dreams about me being in a spacecraft and shooting at something like, you know, on earth or something like that like it was a tropical planet that's all i know real talk as i was a kid bro i'm <laughs> i know it sounds crazy but look man you have you have those type of dreams sometimes and I, i've always had them so yeah yo i just saw some wild shit bro because you check this out i had to drop my brother off he works like deep 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 down um Frank, for Lucas or whatever it's called. I'm on my way. Uh, I get on the freeway to come back home. And I'm driving, right? In my peripheral vision, like, when, when you go past, like, an exit, you can see them going down the exit. Okay, so I'm past that right now. It's a dude looking in my car on the freeway. This dude was not in the car. This dude was running. I'm on the freeway. I'm going like 63, 64. Ain't no way. This dude is running. Ain't no, that ain't fast, no way. bro. I just saw this. No, we not. No, you didn't. Oh, don't tell me it's about to happen for real. Who oh, yeah. Yo, son. Run, hey, I'm going to run that joint back. I thought he was playing, y'all. I thought he was playing. We're going to run that joint back. I thought he was playing. Wow, nigga. Some of y'all would have crashed. Y'all would have lost control. What? 
and it, and, it, and it didn't cut the volume and speed up. I know that trick. How do they think that's normal? Hey, bro. If you ask me, if you ask me on a, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I think that shit real. I think that one right there real, y'all. But we're gonna we gonna keep going though. I think it's real. Hey, Kukul canta enojado. Butt naked, running that fast, bro. Ain't that the dude from um Black Panther movie, The Feather Serpent? Kukulakan, Feathered Serpent, rising from his temple in wind tunnel form. That's cap though. That's a hundred percent cap. Okay, so now now this is now that's real. For sure. Wow, look at him. It's so many things that we haven't discovered yet, and then look oh makes more sense, huh? See what y'all doing? Y'all trying to convince people for real, for real. Um, source God, Orion TV, bang, Did bang, bang. That? Your family, more like Namaste, Grand Rising, all that. Family, um, I saw this footage the other day, and I literally had to get it for you guys. I don't know if it's VFX, CGI, or Bluebeam. All I know is there's been a lot of this footage coming out of China recently, a lot of these dragons flying around. And family, like, um, you know, we use science. We're not just, like, here just trying to jump on a dick or some shit because we see it. We really want to figure out what's going on and get to the bottom of this. Now, throughout the ages throughout all cultures around the world, people have spoken of dragons, you know? And like, people who are supposedly not even connected, don't know each other, you know, completely separated cultures, family, with all the same stories, like with the dragons, the giants, the Yeti, Bigfoot, and all that fam. It's like, you know, these people aren't just making these things up. And this footage here, family, I don't know if From you guys remember- Multiple angles. Back in China. Yeah, I remember where that. Where this plasma blast just comes out of nowhere and hits this building. And for this, we still haven't gotten any explanation. But the word on the ground, fam, from the locals is that it was a dragon. <laughs> like, literally, family. It was some kind of mystical, mythical dragon that spit some fire out and smashed on this building. Like, you know, we can't prove it. We don't know if it's true. But, fam, like, what is this? To this day, we don't have an explanation. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, family, like I said earlier, there's too many stories of these things from... Dragon, yo, that's a real fucking dragon. Hey, you want to know what's crazy about that is? Is... That's, that's, that, that's wild. Like, you know, um, I don't like, like, just shitting on people and stuff like that. So I would say that I would rather, you know, go to these places and talk to the people. I want to eventually get this channel to the point where, you know, I get that type of support where I can go and travel and show y'all and 
approve or disapprove a lot of these things that we're actually seeing so you know what i'm saying with the support of y'all y'all can go ahead that's why i'll be asking y'all to smash that like button smash that like button bro i can get out here and i can get out here doing these things so therefore i can have other people i can hire other people more people to fill these positions in which you know i do i'm hiring right now you know so i can get out here and be more interactive you know with the elements and actually show you guys instead of for me just sitting in my room breaking down videos and talking about it right but look if y'all like that idea just make sure y'all smash the like button and share these videos real talk it is no news now that different people are born with strange disabilities or syndromes like they call it in the medical world and whenever these things happen especially in a place like africa people tend to capitalize on juju or superstitions or one thing or the it. other without going to look at the medical cause for all this alarming illness well even myself when i see him i mean they feel saying that juju but it's not with juju this blue baby syndrome too is a mysterious skin color transformation it is called the blue baby syndrome or the infant metimoglobinemia so whenever you see something like that the causes too could be because of the shortage of oxygen in the baby's lungs and enough oxygen too is required to produce the redness in the blood cells you will see you know uh this environment y'all been seeing the ufos and stuff and spraying in the air you know they're changing the environment as we speak you know they're here to clean the air too as well to help us preserve you know and it's so-called said that our environment is going back to the way that it was to breathe in different different elements so and they even came out and said the sun is transforming us as we speak so we don't know what the hell we turn into are we turning into fish nigga we going back blue we going back blue <laughs> i ain't talking about the cops goddamn <laughs> hey how y'all feel about the blue baby though y'all seen a direct resemblance of what avatar shall we proceed though this video right here is for my NPCs or non-player characters. Watch and listen. Oh my God. You don't have a dialogue, an internal monologue in your head? You know Wait, I'm, I'm confused. Why would you? So you can't, you can't talk to yourself in your head. How did I not know this? I've been with you for five years. You seen how perplexed she was? She was taken aback by this. She does not have an inner dialogue. She does not have a consciousness. She is part of the video game. You know, the video game that active conscious players are participating in right now. Just like they show you in the video game Sims. This is all a simulation. And the characters that you were playing in the Sims were called avatars. Our body are avatars. This guy right here actually- Okay, what's up the sex is Are we in? Are we in? Um, the, the, I mean, I think here's, in my mind, like the, the, the strongest argument for for us being in a simulation, probably being in a simulation, I think is the following. Um, that, that 40, called 40, 40 years ago, we had Pong, like two rectangles and a dot. That was what games were. Um, now, 40 years later, we have photorealistic 3D simulations with millions of people playing simultaneously, and it's getting better every year. So basically what he's saying is we can only evolve like that because we are part of a video game. Just like in a computer, you have updates for it every so often. In this video game as well, we have updates for things every so often. So it's always upgrading because it's whole. What is the sun doing? System. Every single thing you know of is a system. In fact, and to be in the matrix, you would have to be a system. You would have to be a software. So basically, Elon basically tells him, yes, there's a one in a billion chance that this is a simulation, that these things are only possible because it is a simulation. Excuse me, have you seen my phone anywhere? Professor Sheldon Overall, welcome to Jumanji. Nigel Billingsley at your service. I've been so anxious for your arrival. Good to meet this guy. I think he's an NPC. A what? English, please. A, a non-player character. He's part of the game. So anything we ask him, he only has his program series of responses. Got it. It's all clear now. So these NPCs are only programmed with certain phrases in order to respond back to you. You can ask them about anything and they'll respond. Now, the only difference is these people are not able to get deep. They don't have life in them. You know how people say the eyes are the windows to the soul? You mm -hmm. can literally look at these people and see if they have a soul or not. 
A lot of these people are just projections of our outer self. The character that we used to be, they are there to help you better yourself so you don't step back into that life that you once were in. It's all in your face. By the way, you guys missed video part one. Y'all went straight to two. Bruh, I be trying to tell niggas, we live in a video game world, bruh. Half of these niggas ain't even real people, bruh. Watch this. <laughs> you know that, though. <laughs> bruh, hey, this nigga that stupid. can't be a real nigga. That nigga is clearly a Grand Theft Auto created character. Yeah. He like looked like he'll get hit by a car and get back up and continue to walk. <laughs> what does it mean to be an NPC? A yeah. uh, NPC is a non-player character. In this life, there are non-player characters. Bodies without souls. Now, it's not that supernatural shit where you got these skinwalkers, these little entities, these just meat suits. I'm talking about me and you human beings communicating just like me and you, but they just don't got one. And what I mean by got one is that third eye. They literally can't see through shit. Everything they see on the news is true. A's and B's in school. If you giving them some spiritual info, they'll forget it like this. Try to tell them boys it's a war going on somewhere. They're going to wake up thinking about it. NPCs probably are man-made, manufactured humans. Because they literally are, i like, bro, these are people that you meet that just can't be real. Like those folks dancing on the streets, getting their thing, like they, I mean, they real to my eye, but they, bro, they can't be real people. Bro, they're an NPC, that's what an NPC is. <laughs> okay, so you've heard of NPCs, the non-player characters. Is our world actually yeah. built with backdrop people? Okay, so Dolores Cannon usually here. comes up in this topic, but let's take a look at what she actually said. This information is coming from Convoluted Universe Book 4 and Book 5. Okay, so these backdrop people, these NPCs, they are a collective energy. The whole soul life selection process and having a purpose and a mission, they're not a part of that because they're not individual souls. In the description, there's gonna be a little play button. It's gonna bring you to this video, what is a soul? A soul is when the consciousness becomes individual, but these NPCs are not individuals. Dolores is like, these people don't have souls? I don't understand. They do not, they are just images. They do not have a higher self. Dolores is like, if I touched one, would I be able to tell the difference? No, no. you're surrounded by them. Reality is made of many layers. They're only involved with the shallowest of layers. Dolores is like, so they're just energy. They are holographic images. Why are they here? They're here to create the experience so that light source beings, beings that break off from the source creator and go through an individual soul evolution journey are able to learn their lessons. Those NPCs help us learn these lessons. And Dolores says, because so many main player characters are here on earth at this time to change the planet and make it better, these NPCs are on a script right now to destroy the planet. They are angry because they're here to provoke us so that we could actually pass the lesson. So this gets me thinking, what if the Karen phenomenon is our own creation and they're just NPCs? Okay, now let's check what Tim from Cosmic Disclosure says. There seems to be some non-player characters. They look like humans, they're approachable, but they have no eye awareness. Okay, so now let's take a look at this book. Give because our conspiracy grandfather, David Icke, talked about this a long time ago. So David Icke breaks it into three categories. One being the NPCs, bodies without consciousness. They are interactive software programs. He uses the example of a carousel. How the carousel is spinning regardless. You could ride one of the horses. However, the horses that no one is riding, they're still going through the motions. They're spinning around with the rest of the horses, but there's no one there to experience it. David Icke says, some of these interactive software programs, aka NPCs, can run on other programs, such as the Agent Smith character from The Matrix. If you haven't seen my video on the Agent Smith effect, it will be the second play button in the description. Okay, now let's get to the second type that David Icke talks about. These other people do have consciousness. They are so entranced and deluded by the matrix as though they are trapped in a virtual reality prison and their identity is a programmed personality. These people are the main energy source for our matrix, which feeds off of their fear, guilt, and frustration. We're gonna put a pin in that. Let's go to the third type. Okay, this third group is the smallest of all. 
These are people who have enough awareness to realize that we are in an illusion and that our true selves, beyond the walls of this software program, we are just a fractal of an infinite oneness. Now let's go one step further with this NPC thing. This blog called Ego Mind prefers to use the word non-player consciousness, which once again says they do not have individual minds. They lack these qualities because they lack awareness of themselves and others. But he chooses to use the word consciousness instead of character. One, because everything has consciousness, but also because the word is more appropriate. To con is to make someone believe something. The next part of the word means having knowledge. And the final part is your state of being. When the knowledge is deceptive, it creates our state of being. Sometimes they're also called non-source players. Once again, we see this repeated from the David Icke book. The matrix runs on energy, specifically from source players' negative emotion. One argument for why NPCs exist is to propel the continuation of the matrix by inciting the main player character into feeling emotions that would continue to create this reality. <clears throat> well, damn. Sounds a bit Karen to me provoking negative emotions in order to keep that right. second group upset and angry so they continue to shape this negative reality. Now that second group reminds me of Truman's wife. She is a real person because she lacks the deeper awareness. She continues to play this role that she believes she has to. Okay, so now let's get back to Dolores. Did one of these NPCs become real? Yes. When you focus and interact with them, you help them evolve slightly away from that hive soul. Dolores is like, wait, so do they become real instantly? And no, no, it's not immediate. It won't be in this <laughs> lifetime. Once again, Tim from Cosmic Disclosure says the same thing. You can evoke something in them. My soul, my consciousness could raise a soul. Y'all okay. gotta look this stuff up too. Uh, some people look at this NPC, what are they saying? They have wires in them, they're robots. No, look, this right here is technology, y'all. Y'all know we have, we, we have metals and everything inside of our bodies. We have to look these things up to really figure out who you are. See, most people are addicted to love and hip hop and stuff and, and, re and relationship shows that have nothing to do with your personal experience on this earth. That's somebody else's perspective that shouldn't sway your feelings about what you're doing in your life. But look, I sit here and say this, look it up. It's called Indinkra Codes, people. Indinkra Codes, look it up. We run on a set of Indinkra Codes. Same type of codes that's that we've seen in the movie The Matrix, those zeros and ones. But look, look that stuff up and you you and you know what we're talking about. But look, let's continue. You won't believe what I caught on camera. I was at the park enjoying myself when I got home and seen this. <laughs> what do you think this yeah, is? Um, post Satan. <laughs> That shit definitely fake. Hey, that's fake. <gasps> Flip! Come here, Flip! Nigga, that ain't oh fake. Flip, come. What is that? A giant in Canada. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. That's not what we ain't just gone. You know what I'm saying? What is that in the water? See, that's why I don't be messing with the water like that. I understand. Like, look, we just watched the new Avatar movie and the water look cool and shit. But the water ain't the same as it used to be. This water right here dark as a motherfucker. You can't see nothing in that. What is that? Why is it so? Why is that so big? See, that just, uh, you gonna make, uh, whatever. Let's, let's, let's watch this again, though. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. That's very Flip unnatural. Oh. Hey, I just came across another video that called a woman teleport. Yes, teleport. You can see this woman teleporting clear as day. Now, when you understand that the fourth and the fifth dimension have been merging, then you'll understand that this is real shit that's going on. And the more we wake up as a whole, the more shit that gets exposed. So check this video out and let me know what y'all think in the comments. All right, look and see how she got here, Andrew. I want you to see this. This is crazy. You see that, Andrew? Oh, shit. Something is wrong. Here's out of nowhere. Oh, he gotta run that back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I will. She appeared out of nowhere. She a witch. She's a witch. That's a witch. This is crazy. Nah. You yeah. see that, Andrew? Something. It is a tree. It is a tree, but how it's disappearing behind those other trees, I do not know. Because the other trees are flowing. Wait, the wind's not 
and that one is blowing quite a bit. Okay, it's in full view. Yeah, that's. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't seen no uh, tree do that before. Trying to stay focused on it. Now it's disappearing again. Weird. That is fucking tripping me out. I know. Cause I'm aimed right at it. Here it comes again. And it's like the whole thing is shifting. What in the fuck am I looking at right now? <laughs> This shit's going on YouTube. <laughs> I feel it. That is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. Hey, you know it is real. Maybe it's some flowers opening and closing on the tree. But all of these trees right here, are they, they the same tree. So why won't they all be doing that? There it is. I'm troubleshooting. You know what I'm saying? It's like a tree. Jewel mermaid found. Come on, show the rest. Why y'all just down here? Like that's all we want to see. Oh. Oh, they done stuffed the little boy in the fish. They done cut a goddamn fish head off. That 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 and they stuffed this they done stuffed the little kid in there, try to make a mermaid. Y'all know they damn y'all know they stuffed that boy in that damn fish like that. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, that's that that's crazy. That's what I think that is. I don't think there's no type of mermaid, you know? Like that ain't that ain't what it is. We're gonna call it for what it is, G. We wish that we see something like that, like real. A light right here in the way. We wish we see something like that in real life. We get that real experience, right? To see one face to face. But look, man, just because you see one on here don't mean that they ain't real. I'm a uh, for certain, I'm gonna tell you except that I know hundred percent sure, like, bro, that's Cap right there. They cut a fish, man. They stuff somebody in there. If 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 a, a mermaid be a whip, like came up on the shore like that, right? I'm pretty sure that there would be a lot more footage, and they would have been doing a lot more just just standing there around the body. We would have heard a lot more about this, you know. But it is what it is, though. You can't fool me with nothing like that. But look, I see y'all in the next one, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this, man. Let me know some things down below if you learned anything from this video. Or if you have something to add, you know, not one person has all the answers. That's why we do this right here, man. In the future, our relatives and the people that come after us, man, they will be able to see us just like the hieroglyphs. They will be able to go back and visually see us instead of just reading pictures. They'll actually be able to see us in real time. And then the comments are the hieroglyphs. But look, I'll see you on the next one. Like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. See you on the next video. And I'm out, though. Bye.